Okay, guys, welcome back to another map. Uh, basically, I skipped uh, uh, escape the <laughs> skip the facility. Uh, yeah, facility escape. Uh, reason being was because um, I didn't want to go back on there and die again, and my game would crash. Basically, my Gmod does this other random thing where if I join a server and then join another server afterwards, it crashes my game for some reason. Anyway, so we're on GM Underground. This is one I accidentally missed out. Uh, we may do GM Ghost Hunt maybe. But I really want to get onto the others soon. Anyway, don't use any weaponry, it could crash the map. Don't no clip unless you're stuck. You could trigger something. Is no clip available? Yeah, okay. Type in the console, SV SV cheats one. MP flashlight zero. Xbox God mode one. If the door's closed, it will open try and if it it closed, it will open. Don't try to move it or no clip. Okay, so SV under cheats. I'll do this now, ain't I? Okay, then. MP flashlight. Should have really done this beforehand, but you know. Mate, that's the wrong code, mate. Oh, wait. I don't know why. Do oh, you dickhead? Need to put a fucking underscore. Fuck no, what a knobhead. Right. Okay. S box. Guild mode. Zero. Oh, wait. Okay, so I should die. I think maybe I'm not quite sure. Oh yeah, I've seen this map before. Um, anyway, let's keep on going. Seems like a pretty decent map. Got a train. Yeah. Go outside. No. Oh shit. What is going on? Oh, Jesus. That's another sound I actually want to explore in Gaming Mysteries as well, is that sound. Is that a human? Is that a zombie? Who fucking knows? Anyway. Let's carry on through. Oh, look, a floating baby. Ah, okay, that kind of got me, actually. Fuck. We got the pentagram. Oh, fucking hell, I hate that sound. It's so creepy. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Oh shit. We're now in an upside down train. Okay. Ah, gee, man. It's nice to see you too. How are you doing, friend? Yeah, it's a stalker. Hey, you get back here. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of creepy. I did see a stalker in that fire when I was in the train. Um, that was kind of yeah. That was actually kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that is fucking strange. That's kind of cool though. One second, who is that outside? Give me a moment. Well, things seem to be getting fucking spooky around here because I heard someone's door fucking close. It sounded like it was my door, my front door. And I'm home alone. So that was kind of creepy. Okay, so where do I go from here? I still hear that fucking sound still. Whoa. Hello there. How are you? Oh. Oh, that was just fucking rude. Jesus Christ. Talk about being impolite. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that was a fucking citizen. That was actually quite creepy. What the bollocks was that? Jesus. Things being flown at me. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck off with that shite. Seriously. 
Oh no, it's getting really fucking creepy now. That massive face reminded me of um uh, what was that um, game made you did a uh, Source Engine? It was really Cry of Fear, I think it is, something like that. Yeah, that massive face that you can kill. Okay, that's. Oh fucking hell! Don't do this shit, please. I'm I'm really not in the mood to be going around in circles. This is gonna remind me of Deja Vu. And we all know how fucking creepy that game is. Do do. Do 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 Oh my god. It's only a matter of time before something pops around the fucking corner. Like what? Oh fuck that. Fuck's sake! Seriously! Fuck's sake. Oh. It's always the fucking normal enemies. Okay, we can. Okay, just. Hello, head crabs. Hello. Yes, it's nice. To meet you, to yeah. Well, that one didn't exactly get me. I'm gonna be honest now. That kind of sucked ass because I was actually concentrating on the head crabs. Though apparently this guy who made his map, if I'm not mistaken, this guy has been like spending on SDK for like three years straight, and this is. I'm not supposed to stand here and look at it. No. What is that? <laughs> I got Mossman there. Fair enough. Charred body. Oh fuck, man! Talk about being fucking creepy. It'd been days, weeks, or months. I've got every person in the prison. Seems like seems the same. Same for same for wars with all your happy moment craved uh, craved on it. Some bars ta have words of sad moment on it. It is dark and there is no difference between day and night. Of this guy who made his map, it's not it's not a native speaker of English, but that doesn't fucking depart. Well, that doesn't go to show that... I mean, I have to admit, this map is fucking brilliant. It's really fucking good. Even if he is using fucking stalkers. That... That over there, that fucking creepy, like... Little moving musical shit. Well, that was just fucking rude. That was kind of fucking creepy. That's, that's what I'm talking about, having uniqueness like that. Even fucking hell. I probably scared you more than it scared me because I was busy concentrating speaking. For fuck's sake, come on. Give me a chance. But no, but seriously though, that that's really fucking cool. I've never seen that ever in my what the fuck was that? Oh god. That just gave me the fucking chills, man. You gonna scare him by Oh Jesus. 
some fucking like mutant tadpoles or something. Jesus. I'm saying Jesus a lot. Okie dokie, right. Excuse me, could you stop that? Exit. Oh, yay! An exit. Now, this is customly built, I can tell you that. This is cool. It's just like the really generic horror maps with have like the most basic scares. Oh no. What do I have to jump to? <sighs> you bastards. Well, it's like I'm not getting out of here, am I? God damn it. Oh no. Okay, Joe. Two well known creepypastas, I can tell you that right now. Gives me the creeps. Okay, yeah, fuck this, I'm out of here. Oh, man. That has like a mix of the Martin Goofer creepypasta, username 666, and that other one where he's like tearing off his face. Oh. Why, hello there. Oh my god. Well, this isn't fucking fun, is it? If I remember correctly, stalkers aren't meant to have emotions. <laughs> what is going on? Oh god, this is so fucking cool. I was gonna type in stop sound, but well then. So that was underground. Um, a yeah, that was underground. That was really fucking cool. Um. I'm going to rate that a 5 out of 5 because it, that was just fucking awesome, I'm not going to lie. I mean, that's all be honest here. That had some really unique shit in, like, you know, involved. But that was really fucking cool. Um, anyway, so. Uh, Terror from the Dark? I think that's another one that we haven't done yet, so I'll get you guys when that is loaded up. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so this is, I think this is Terror from the Dark? Yeah. Anyway, so, let's get into it. Um, I don't know if I've already done this or not. Um, I may have done this last year, but anyway, um, got my camera out. Oh yeah, I think I have done this actually. I remember doing it with a friend at one point. It's not a lot of uniqueness in this, but we'll show it off anyway. It's got like creepy value. No, it's got like kind of like quiet, creepy kind of a value to it. No, just showing off like random shit or something. Whoa, was that? I swear I just saw CP there. Now you do have your weapons with you, so... So, I'm just gonna use my crowbar for now. Okay, there we go. Oh. It's a place that I'm in. It's a map up there. Well, there's a camera up there. <laughs> map. God damn it. Yeah, I definitely remember doing this with a friend. Four might as well just show off anyway. It's it's an alright map, it's not great. 
It's not going to have that, like, more, like, it's not going to have that such a huge spooky factor because obviously I've played it before, but I've pretty much forgotten most about it anyway. But yeah, that uh, radio frequency that you hear, I definitely want to do a game mystery on that. <laughs> oh, that was such a weak scare. God damn it. Oh, look, it's a CP. Light will perish beneath the darkness. I think I remember. Ooh, okay, that did get me. I'm not gonna lie, that did get me. Uh, I think I remember last time me and my friend broke the game because we had crossbows out and we killed him. So that went extremely fucking well. Utter silence. Oh Jesus, where am I again? Trash, yep. I do see that. I am watching you. Oh no! <laughs> There he is again. Do I remember what? That's a cool tank. I don't know if that's tank. Uh, that tank is from uh, the beta of Half-Life 2. And yeah, I'm not quite sure. Hey there. Oh, okay then. All right. I don't know why either, but these fucking rebels are really low polyed. It's really fucking odd. I'm guessing that's a way out. Oh, there's a bunch of turrets in there. There's a bunch of uh, shit in there. There's a bunch of shotguns in there. There's a generator in there. Ah, okay, that kind of got me. No, there is some uniqueness in this map. I do like it how um, they're using. From darkness, it watches, it observes your every move. I do like how they use these citizens and whatnot and give them, you know, white eyes and stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh. I think you were supposed to turn around. Like, I think that was a scripted event, I'm not quite sure. Death. And you walk closer. What is death? I don't know, tell me, what is death, my good friend? Is there a difference between feeling alive? I don't feel anything either, to be quite honest. Tusa Mugu, inspired by numerous maps. Fair enough. It was a very, very well made map. Not going to give it a massive rating, but I'll give it a 2.8 out of 5. Um, probably like a, it's probably like a an amateur map, probably made by an amateur. I'm not saying, you know, I, I'm a good mapper, but it's probably made by a person who's a beginner with SDK. That's what I'm trying to say. That sounded really dickish, I'm so sorry. Um, I've done the last patient with a friend, I've also done, I've done a lot of stuff actually, um, but anyway, so let's move on to other now, other, sound like a fucking farmer, right, anyway, we're now going to do How on Earth Part 1, I'll see you guys in a bit.